Hi guys, today I'm showing you how to change a timing belt on a Subaru Legacy 4. For this you'll need our CT1058K3 timing belt kit. If I say powerful, horizontally opposed pistons moving in opposite directions, what should come straight to the mind of the experienced car mechanic? Exactly, boxer engines. It's not only Porsche and Lancia who fit these delightful examples of engine design, they can also be found in Subaru models. Subaru is famed for its boxer engines and all-wheel drive. It only deviated from this formula once in 2003, when the Justy was brought out without all-wheel drive but it has always stuck to the boxer principle. Today we're looking at the belts. Would someone mind taking these gloves off? That's better. Today we have the 2007 Subaru Legacy 4 with the engine code EJ204. For this engine you need the CT1058K3 timing belt kit and these tools. As usual, I'm demonstrating the timing belt change on an engine that has been removed so that I can show you everything more clearly. That's difficult to do while the engine is in situ. To set TDC at cylinder 1, first remove the three timing belt guards and the crankshaft belt pulley. Then you are ready to set TDC at cylinder 1. To set TDC, you have to position three marks at the camshafts on each side and one at the crankshaft. These marks all have to be correctly aligned. There is one here on the crankshaft and another three on each side. One here, one down here and a third one down there at the bottom. The camshafts are secured in place. You need these locking tools to prevent the camshafts from being pushed back when the timing belt is taken off. Now insert the cotter pin, slacken the hydraulic tensioner and remove the jump guard. You can then take off the timing belt and replace the parts. When mounting the new tensioner, don't forget to fit this rubber ring too, as it secures the washer. You can now fit the timing belt, starting at the crankshaft, then passing it around the camshafts and finishing at the deflection pulley at the bottom. Take care not to move any of the marks in the process. So, we've now fitted the timing belt without moving the marks. To tension the timing belt, first relieve the strain in the hydraulic damper by bracing the tensioner pulley, then pull out the cotter pin. Once this has been done, reinstall the timing belt's jump guard, making sure there is at least one millimeter of clearance between it and the timing belt. Now remove all the locking tools, turn the engine over twice in its direction of rotation and set it to TDC at cylinder 1 again. You can then reassemble the engine in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, paying attention to the tightening torques. Don't forget our seal of quality. Place our part replacement sticker in the engine compartment where it's clearly visible so that the customer sees you've installed quality. Ooh. 